Hello again. I'm just finishing up uh, some of the last projects before the winter, and that is to flush the brake fluid. And I'm gonna put on my winter tires at the same time since I already have the wheel off. So, to flush the brake fluid, I have uh, five liter of new brake fluid. Uh, one liter should probably be enough for this, but I might use a little bit more since it's the uh, first time. I have a power bleeder with the correct adapter and a pump to suck out the fluid from the container in the front and some catch cans to collect the fluid from the calipers. We start with uh, protecting paint and then just Taking off the top here and taking out the filter after removing the filter you can start sucking out the brake fluid. Then you open up the power bleeder and you pour in as much uh, brake fluid as you need. I'm just gonna pour in a little bit uh, extra just so that I don't run out. I have the instructions uh, for bleeding the brakes by the instruction manual here. It says that the bleeding pressure is approximately two bars and it goes around 250 milliliters per caliper. So then we attach the pressure hose. Two bars is around 30 psi. I see a lot of people do a little bit less. I think I'm gonna do around 25. So I have a little bit less pressure. Than we have. Everything is pressurized. So time to take off the rear wheel and start there. Alright, I've hooked everything up here and I'll use the big can for now to be able to measure up half a liter. It's smart to spray some penetrating spray on to make sure it loosens easily without making a mess on the brake disc obviously. And you just uh, open it gently and let the brake fluid run in until you get the amount you want or know you need or until you can see a difference in the in the coloration or the color of the brake fluid. Now you can see a nice even stream coming out the tube. So just follow and make sure it goes up to about half a liter. And then I take the outside and then I'm done with this wheel. So I'm just make sure the pressure is not going too low in the front here. So now it's down to 20 psi, so I can pump it up to 25 again when it goes below 20. So I have a nice even pressure until I'm done with this side. So I spent the time waiting, getting the winter tires ready. So now we're up to half a liter. And then we just gently close this again and get ready for just a little bit on the outside here. There was actually a small leak from uh, here. So I'm very happy I covered up the paint and also put some paper here. So make sure everything is sealed properly. I'm just gonna let it run for maybe like 10 seconds. Some air bubbles coming up straight away. should be plenty. Don't over tighten it. It's fine. Alright, done with this side.
Usually putting on uh, winter tires is one of the worst day of the years, but uh, it helps a lot when I can put on turbo twists. I do really love the, how these look still. Summer tires are of course awesome, but uh, turbo twist is never wrong. I think this is gonna be a cool look for the winter. All right, done on the outside, rear left. Here I am taking out 250 milliliters on the inside. Run for 10 seconds on the outside. So then I'm up to 750 milliliters in the rear because it has the longest stretches of uh, piping. And then I'm gonna do the last 250 milliliters in the front. Start with taking off the rubber caps. That was the last opening of the last caliper. So now I can just empty out this and then depressurize this and get all the <coughs> fluid back. And then the only thing left to do is make sure the level is correct on the cars on its wheels and we're done with the brakes and winter tires. So since I also took the car on a track day, well, the reason why I'm uh, changing the brake fluid is because it boiled and so did the brake pads so while i have been uh, changing the brake fluid i've also gone over all the brakes changed all the cell sensors because they were melted and gone over the brake pads cleaned them up and uh, put everything back together <laughs> so now the car should be all ready for the winter Alright, I hope you found this video useful and please do subscribe. Project completed. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.